Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and today I'm going to be doing my most essential applications for iOS 5 jailbreak tweaks, is what I'm talking about. Um, so it's going to be a little bit longer video today, but I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes so I won't have such a long time of uploading. But first off, come over to iPhoneCaptain.com, leave a comment to be eligible for the giveaway that's coming up when I reach a thousand subscribers and also I've just reached 900 so I'll be getting in contact with my 900 subscribers there's going to be at least five giveaways for it and when I reach a thousand there's going to be at least ten so you want to be registered for that so while I'm doing this uh, talking about this let me get over here what the first and up that I want to tell you, tell you about is we all know that uh, Siri has been a big hit and on the what can I help you with I, pop, I apologize Sarah and on the iPad 2 you know it's not available and you just heard that Sarah was already recognizing what I was saying so let's get right into this what's the weather Give me just a second here to get lined back up. What's the weather in Kentucky today? And you can see she understood exactly what I said. And she's searching the weather now. Sometimes it's takes... In the summer, it's very hot and sunny. I wasn't very sp precise, but let me give you another example. Open Facebook. Facebook will be open now. Okay, see how easy that is? All right, let's go back to her. Open Safari. Okay, please wait. And you can see this actually opens applications better than Siri does because with Siri unless you're jailbroken you have to add you know Siri toggles or go the uh, app my assistant works good for the iPhone 4S too okay next up another one that you got to get is called ProTube if you are a YouTube fan mm -hmm. and let me say who ain't these days Alright guys, first up, you got this little row across the bottom of the screen. Let me tilt the camera just a little bit so you can see what I'm saying. Right here, you tap that, and it's even got its own built-in download manager if you want to uh, do if you want to download videos directly onto your device. And, th and they have an iPhone version for this as well. And if I'm not mistaken, this application is $2.99. I'm about sure that's the cost of it and you can go to your application you can go to your your settings and go up here to home you can go to your videos you can watch videos right inside here you can save videos if you want to send a link to a video you simply just tap the little bar down here go to URL copy and send that link and he'll send this URL to whoever you want to send it to and they can watch the video that you want to reference. Great for emails. Next up is a new one that just come out in the last week or so called AirBlue. We all know that iOS skipped the fact that people enjoy transferring music or files or photos or anything like that through Bluetooth. So what you need to do to get this is you have to install an a application from Cydia called AirBlue. And it'll actually install two different things onto your device. It is, and it'll put AirBlue and Air Sharing on it. Okay, you first of all have to enable it and you can even transfer files between your Mac or your PC. And this application is $4.99 and I think it's in the big boss or mod by iRepo1. It comes with an awesome user guide. It's very easy to use. You simply just tap in the uh, code it gives you uh, or the accept. You just have to hit accept, I think. I've got a video on it. If you want to check it out, I'll try to remember to run a uh, annotation right here. 
it's, I have an in-depth review of, of it as well. Um, another one you want to get if you use the uh, iPad for much typing is called Action Menu and what Action Menu does is it allows you to do all these things. You can copy, paste, you can save things under as favorites if you want to type in say your email or your email signature and save it under a favorites. If you want to select a passage, a paragraph say, you can save it and go back and paste it in anywhere you want to. It's very, very nice to have if you're going to use uh Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Alright, go in here and hit test, test, okay, now just, all I got to do is select, okay, and if I want it to copy that, those two things, now I could come over here and open up another note, simply hold my finger down, hit paste, there it is, it's, it's, it pasted in those two things that I had, okay. Next up, InfiniBoard, InfiniDoc, and all those, if you don't know what they are, they allow you to scroll your dock left and right. InfiniDoc does. I think it's 99 cents. InfiniBoard allows you to scroll vertically, and I thought I had it installed on here. InfiniDoc, evidently I don't. But anyway... I've got it on my iPhone 4S and I can show you what it looks like on there pretty fast. Alright, InfiniBoard right here, you can see it allows me to scroll vertically. And you're not limit to, limited to 10 pages, you know, like you are in Apple. Alright, another one is called Side Delete, and what Side Delete does is you simply can delete Cydia applications directly from the Springboard. We, are, we know Sarah is a Cydia application, okay? And you see when I put it in jiggle mode, it puts a little X on everything that I can delete, and you see all my Cydia applications have an X by them. And if I wanted to delete them, I would simply just tap that X confirm and it would delete it from right there. The most customizable Cydia application available is Spring to Mice. You can do anything and an unlimited number of things in Spring to Mice. You can change your animations you know like going from page to how it looks going from page to page. You can change your dock whether you want to hide the labels, the reflection, how many icons are in the dock, whether you want it to look like a cover flow, you know how you can put your finger on it and it, it flows. You can change your lock screen, you can disable the camera button on the lock screen, you can always show the camera button on the lock screen, you can delay dimming. Guys, this is the most customizable application if you don't get anything else inside of Cydia if you want to if you want to tweak your entire phone throughout its whole capabilities this is the one application that will do it I think it's $2.99 if you want to check it out another one guys is called full screen Safari and what it does when you're in Safari, you know you lose this little bar up here across the top that real estate's taken up because of your URL bar and all that kind of stuff. Okay? If you want to double tap, that goes away. And to bring it back, you just do the same. Double tap. That's called full screen. It's $1.99. Next up is IntelliScreen X. What IntelliScreen X does it puts all your notifications directly on your your lock screen and it also lets you add things up here at the top such as some of the SB settings is what I call them like your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Airplane, uh, lock, you lock your rotation, your respring, all that. You can also enable a RSS feed if you want to add iPhoneCaptain.com forward slash feeds F-E-E-D-S 
that will get you my RSS feed and you'll be updated on every time that I add something new. You can add your mail, your calendars, any of your applications you want to add in. That's in Telescreen X and it's $9.99. See this blue icon, this blue slider, how awesome that looks? That's a, that's a new tweak that just come out called Colored Knob. And what Colored Knob does is they allow you to select from a list here. They've got several different colors. And when it first came out, they only had three colors, and they've already added several more. So they're going to be updating it, hopefully, to the user's liking. So if you've got a suggestion, I'd say just hit them up, and they'll probably add it on there when they get time. Colored knob. Another one is called Colored Banner. And what it does is when you get a notification at the top, let me see if I can send myself a message. What it does is it... Uh, I'm just sending something silly so alright you see it came up you see I put straps up here so you could see it see how it looks all weird it's strapped out you can't even hardly read it but I did that through colored banner and inside there I can change my okay let's change it to green now let's go back out and try it I don't think you have to respring Alright, now let's see when it pops up what it looks like. Yeah, apparently you do. I apologize for that. But anyway, that colored banner is a 99 cents. And colored knob, I think, is 99 cents. And another one that, that you can tweak up here at the top. See the little Batman sign? That's called Zeppelin. And they have a number of different icons that you can add up there. And if you want to, you can even personalize. And I'm working on getting an iPhone Captain logo. If you would like to add it in, just send me an email and I'll send it to you. It'll be free. Um, you can put it right up here at the top. Whenever I get it worked out, I'll let you all know about that. That's called Zeppelin. It's free. Another one you need is called Activator. Activator lets you assign different right there's what it looks like you can come in here and assign different gestures to different things like I have my I have one gesture set when I hold down the status bar it'll take a picture of the screen that was much easier for me to set that up than it was to hold the home button and the power button simultaneously to take it alright that's free another free one that you might like is called double at I'm always using this and double at lets you assign like an email or something thing you, that you want to use. Uh, that's what I've got mine set to anyway. And I don't have to type my email every time I want to use it. All I have to do is if I say I'm in a note application and I want to use my email, I just come down here right there, hit the, du hit the at sign twice real fast and it puts my email in. Alright, super switcher. I don't know if I have it installed on here or not. Yeah, I do. Super Switcher, you have to assign the top six or nine applications. Um, and then what you do is you simply just hit the double, you double tap, and when it opens, it looks something like this. And that's your favorites over here. And you can see it looks a little weird on the uh, iPad. But anyway, right there is what it's supposed to look like. Here's your favorites. All right, and down here at the bottom, you still got your, you can still scroll through your multitask. And this looks a lot better on the uh, iPhone. They must not have it updated for the iPad just yet. But anyway, I love that when it's 99 cents as well. SB settings, everybody knows what SB settings is. It's all of your Bluetooth, Wi Fi, everything you need right here where you can respring right from this little box. It's free. Uh, package backup allows you to save all your Cydia applications, everything you need. iFile, you can change the way your logos look. It's $4. Package backup is, I think, $6.99. 
That's several tweaks right there, guys. Check them out. Don't forget to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. Thanks for watching.